Hello and welcome back everyone to the powder toy and today I have quite the treat for you It's a new version of the biology mod where the the icon is different now But broken because I had to merge the newer version of the powder toy back into it You may be asking what does this version add? I mean you saw the thumbnail and the title So I'm hoping you figured it out by this point, but I added the entire digestive system Which is more than you probably assumed because all you saw was a stomach. So ha! pranked i gave you even more than you thought so let's go into how this actually works why you would want a digestive system in the powder toy how to take care of your digestive system and make sure that it's getting the nourishment and love that it needs and also a few other things like the fact that now when you start a save biology stuff will have actual health on it it won't be like dead immediately it takes a little bit of time so you don't have to worry about throwing you know oxygen on everything immediately um, by the way, the download is in the description. I really do suggest you open that up. Grab whatever platform. We support Mac now, I know, and Linux. I, I, what can I say? I've been busy. The, a lot of credit goes to the Powder Toy team who have walked me through getting the mod to release on its own schedule, so maybe give them credit as well. Thank you, Jacob. And LBP. LBP, right? LBP. Yes, it is. All right, so let's get started. Um, this is Fred. Fred is a little ugly, but let's ignore that. What really matters is that he's beautiful on the inside. And by that I mean he's ugly on the inside too, because he's literally made up of stomach, uh, mucus, uh, acid, digested material. There's a lot going on here. So let's go ahead and cover how this works, why it's important, and why we need to digest things now. If I hover over in detail mode, which I'm pretty sure you just hit D, yeah, if you hit D, detail mode comes up. If you can see by my head, I'm covering a tiny bit of it, but nothing important. Um, you can see O2, CO2, and the new thing, G. G stands for glucose, because now we're tracking the amount of food or you know, energy producing content we have in the cell. And I know there's more nutrients than glucose, but we're not going to overcomplicate this mod more than I already have. I want more than two FPS per frame. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. That made no sense. Yes, two FPS per frame. Um, point being that we now need to introduce energy into the mix. You're gonna see that we have a stomach here. And so how do we get energy? That's a great question. We've added about seven new elements at this point in this version, and I'm going to walk you through how they work and how they work together. All right, let's get started. So we have stomach now, uh, S-T-O-M, and what happens with stomach is pretty simple. It generates stomach acid when it's properly cared for. So properly cared for means that it has enough glucose and enough oxygen to survive. So let's go ahead and use this prop tool here. Grab glucose, grab oxygen, and you'll notice that once it's thir- Okay, let's not have stomach acid fly all over the place. We'll make a little container here. This stomach will generate stomach acid. You're gonna notice it's leaking everywhere. That's because I didn't do the thing I'm supposed to do. Maybe I did that on purpose to show you. Ooh. Or maybe I just forgot. It's up to you to try to figure that one out. If you want to contain the stomach acid, I highly suggest you use a different element like meat first and then fill it with stomach. Stomach will only place acid on empty uh, empty cells right next to it. So as long as you have an outer lining on it, you should be fine. All right, if we glucose this up, you'll notice, yes, now we have a stomach that is filling with stomach acid. The stomach also will uh, push around the material inside of it, kind of simulating contractions in a real life stomach. It'll mix everything up. And if you feed it either biological uh, material or glucose, which is also available to just be shot into the bloodstream directly if you're lazy and don't want to build a stomach, when it mixes, it'll create digested material, this purple stuff. Uh, be a little bit careful, you can cause the stomach to have a little bit of constipation if you put material in too quickly. It'll mix itself and eventually get to the stuff on the bottom, but I just suggest you feed slowly and carefully so it's not as much of a problem. Uh, 
So great, we've got a stomach, we got digested material, but how do we actually get things in and out of the stomach without this nasty uh, acid going all over the place? Well, I'm glad you asked. First of all, to get into here, we can use a new type of cell called mucous membrane. Mucous membrane cannot be damaged by acid. And so if we just line kind of the entrance here and out up high enough that the acid can't actually make it up. Ooh, acid reflux. Um, now it's safe for things to come in, which is basically what we want. Um, the only thing now is how do we actually get that digested material and turn it into glucose? Uh, the stomach's job is to digest, not to pick up the nutrients created. So that's where we need to bring in the intestines. So to actually get this material into the intestines, though, we have to use a special material because we need to somehow pass only digested material through and not allow any acid to leak through. And this is where a uh, stomach valve comes in, which is very creatively named because it's a valve for the stomach. Make sure to line everything, everything so that that stomach does not leak acid out. But if you properly go ahead and make a little barrier here with stomach valve, you will notice that only digested material falls through at a nice pace. Now we can go ahead and grab our intestine material and we can draw a little bit of intestine off of here. And these intestines will slowly convert that digested material into poop, which uh, I think I think you're familiar with what poop is, so I'm not going to describe uh, how how it functions because you guys are all a bunch of two year olds who think everything very funny. Uh, but yes, you will notice as this moves through the digestive system, it's going to slowly be converted into poop, which is the darker uh, brownish material, and then it'll hopefully be evacuated out of the bowels. Uh, not everything will digest if you have too short of a digestive tract, so make sure that you have a lot of surface area for the digested material to hit. But as that digested material is absorbed into the digestive tract, the glucose is going to increase and it's going to feed the organism. Alright, so that, that, that covers how it works, and here you can see Fred has a whole lot in his colon. Fantastic, Fred. You're doing good. Um, he's not super optimized to everything, but it's pretty good. I've also made a ton of optimizations to how the uh, actual code is running, the biology stuff. I made it extremely easy to add your own stuff if you're a programmer and you want to check out the repository. I've made it really, really simple to create biological elements. This is all awesome, and it's a new step of complexity in how the uh, entire system works with the biology mod. If you haven't gotten familiar with the other things like lung and blood and how that all works together, then I suggest you watch my other videos. Uh, blood carries glucose as well, so all you have to do is run blood by your uh, digestive system, and it'll pick up that glucose and bring it to the rest of the body. But I know why you're here. You want to see it all go horribly wrong, you know. Especially considering that I've made some significant improvements to how everything works. That includes how the immune system works and how bacteria and viruses work. Uh, one interesting point is that mucous membranes also attack uh, bacteria. So, kind of realistically, if we go ahead and put some bacteria onto this mucous membrane, the mucous membrane will still take a bit of damage, but the, the bacteria is going to take a lot of damage. Uh, its life is already down to 122, and obviously if it falls into the stomach acid, it's dead anyways, so... There isn't a great way for the bacteria to infect through this avenue. Uh, but if I create an ulcer very quickly, uh, the results could be catastrophic. Uh, also, I'm going to put a single bacteria into the stomach lining here, and we're going to watch as it starts to do damage to that stomach lining. Uh, remember that the acid can break through anything that isn't stomach. Um, all right, we got some dead tissue accumulating here. That bacteria hasn't reproduced yet. There aren't two. Oh, now there's two of them. Uh, we don't have any white blood cells. Oh, 
they they went into the stomach acid and died i mean there's still that's definitely a bit of damage there from the ulcer let's do it a little bit higher up so it's near the stomach acid for uh actually or we'll just drain this at this point so now as it digests and that stomach acid goes lower, you're gonna notice the stomach acid is actually now eating through the wall of the stomach. And now digested material and stomach acid are going into the bloodstream, which is generally bad for you. You, you should not run into this problem. Uh, definitely call a doctor if you run into this problem. Uh, but he is now digesting his own bloodstream, which is unhealthy and generally a bad time. Um, not dead yet. So that's impressive. I'm actually impressed at how long it's taking for this to do major damage. I mean, sure, there's a ton of digestive material running through his bloodstream, which obviously in real life would instantly annihilate you. You'd be dead. But uh, this guy's doing pretty well considering. Um, ulcers, no joke when your stomach acid is leaking directly into your body. We've got like a huge clog here of digested material. Oh no, poop has clogged up his artery because the other side of the intestine digested it and that's preventing it from getting over to the portal here. Oh no, his circulation is pretty much stopped at this point. He's digested all of his own blood. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hate it when that happens. Oh god. And now now the stomach acid is getting through the, the beat. Uh, the skin is growing back to try to prevent it from escaping the body. Um... If we give it a little bit more power though. Oh no. Oh god. It's oh oh jeez. Oh that's unfortunate. I hate it when my stomach just explodes and its contents just fall out. It's always it's always unfortunate. Anyways, the stomach is a lot of fun to play with. Same with the the entire digestive system. Out of context, this entire video is gonna sound absolutely awful. Um but this was a lot of work to get working. Um, it just brings a whole new step of how cool this can get. I created another creature um, with four. Yeah, this is Chonk. Uh, so this is very laggy. I'm getting about 16 FPS because this is really advanced. Uh, but this has four different lungs going, a digestive system in the center. And it, I've been using it for testing kind of biological stuff. Um, so you can get these things quite large if you want to get creative. Um, although I find this a lot easier to test with because it's just a lot less liquid, which means a lot less lag. I think we've covered everything in this update. Um, I fixed a few things. I, I worked a lot on trying to, um, optimize bits. Uh, if I put some thorium on his nose, we're going to notice that it's going to be slowly dying because a you just put radioactive substance on your nose um but for some reason cancer stopped working properly at one point and i have actually fixed it so what i'm trying to do right now is give him cancer uh which sounds pretty brutal it yeah it is pretty brutal um the more efficient way to do this is just putting exotic material directly into his bloodstream to demonstrate because that's just going to flow through and interact with a whole lot he should get cancer pretty quickly uh, from having exotic material in his bloodstream. Um, how do you identify cancer? It'll be really obvious. It'll be really obvious when it starts. Um, it's also doing just a ton of damage to his just body in general. It's killing the blood. It's killing the, the arterial lighting. Um, oh, there it is. There's cancer. And see it kind of growing here. Um, and it'll actually be a stay size. It'll, yeah, now it's over here as well. Um, ooh, look at that persistent display. The, 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 <laughs> okay, um, as you can see, the, the cancer is definitely uh, beginning to spread. It's, it's, it's making its way through the body. It's starting to inhibit the, the blood flow. Damn. I think it's game over for this bro. I think it's game over. All right. Well, guys, I, I think I've covered really what I wanted to. There's an update. You can get it. I want to see what you guys can make with it. If you make a save with this mod, please put like hashtag bio into the save description so that I know. 
I can look it up really easily up through the search thing. Um, or just, just bio. You know, just do your best. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Go, go grab the mod. Have a fun time. And if Windows Defender tells you that it's a virus, I can vouch that it's not a virus. It's, I'm just not going to spend hundreds of dollars to verify it because... You guys don't make me that much money and it's your fault. See, blame you. That's my solution. I will blame you for my own problems.